Welcome back to the Strategic Spring Podcast. I'm going to give you the top three reasons why, as an entertainer slash stripper, who also falls under the big umbrella term of, of SWR, why also as an aunt of a seven-year-old little angel and as a woman who very much cares about freedom, my, my top three reasons, and these are only three out of the many reasons why I voted for the Cheeto Man. And I'm gonna be very careful with my language for lots of reasons that I can't explain right now because I don't have time to. Number one, repealing SESTA-FOSTA. Number two, gender affirming care, quote unquote. And number three, protecting the constitution. Here we go, and ladies, these are good ones. Repealing SESTA-FOSTA. For those of you who don't know much about it, I don't know much about it myself, but here's what I do know about it. In 2018, they said it was to protect children, to help protect from children being traded, to just be careful again with my language. There is nothing about that law, I believe, that any SWR has said anything about it actually being favorable to them. And as a matter of fact, it has been harmful to women and to children because the government has taken the resources that they have that they said are going to help stop children from being traded, and they're busy setting up women who are actually doing the work willingly getting paid. What the government did was they shut down all of their websites where these girls communicated. I don't know if there was one or lots of them or how that worked exactly, but they shut down their websites and girls started like not just being harmed. Like, I mean, some real shit went down. Okay. Because um, I, I don't have time to go down the rabbit holes right now, but the law was completely retarded and had nothing to do with actually helping anyone. The only thing it was doing is putting people in jail and fining women who do not need the extra drama in their lives or putting them in jail and harming the men who are willing to pay for it instead of like legitimately pay for it instead of going underground where these resources should actually be going to find children who actually need the help. If Cheeto wins, the smartest, most efficient, effective, wonderful businessman ever will be on his team and his job will be to make the government more efficient and effective and slash costs, cost cutting in any single government sector and any single government agency, which means a lot of these agencies would be completely obliterated. The whole point would be to cut government spending because at the moment we are going into bankruptcy as a country and this man knows exactly how to do it and he happens to have a lot of children. He has 12 or 13 right now and and his number one goal in his lots of multi-billion dollar businesses, if y'all can't guess yet who I'm talking about, um, he his number one goal is safety and in particular child safety. So if, and, and there was a girl who stood up at a rally that he was speaking at that talked about FOSTA SESTA and this is how he knows about it. And she was like, would you repeal this? And he goes, if they're not, like if, they're t if the government's taking resources and they're not investing it into the kids, like that's the whole point of the, the bill, right? So yes, the whole thing would be obliterated and it would actually happen. And this law has been harming women since 2018. It's gotta go. The second reason, and I can't go down this rabbit hole too far because I'll get way too angry and I'll have to delete the whole video because I really don't have time to edit much of this. Um, if Cheeto gets elected, he would immediately ban quote unquote gender affirming care, which basically means that the state can take your child and decide if they want to turn it into a boy or a girl by basically brainwashing your kid. You can look into all of this stuff on your own. You don't need me to do it. We have one day, we have fucking a few, four hours maybe to, to go out and vote. So I figured I have to put this video out now. Um, please go vote, okay? If for no other reason, go do it for this one. I have a seven-year-old niece who if somebody took her from my sister because she was like, I think I'm a boy. I would go John Wick and like things would not go well and y'all would never see me ever again if I got caught, which I probably would. So please do it for the kids, okay? Uh, if you can't get a tattoo until you're 18, why should you be able to decide on, you know what, maybe I'm the wrong gender. That has nothing to do with the child's actual thoughts of their own. This is completely stuff that's being put in their head. Did you ever even consider the fact while you were a kid, maybe I'm the wrong gender. You might have realized while you were a kid that you might be gay, 
I have fr a friend who she knew when she was little that she was gay, but I don't know. I've never talked to a single person ever who saw it. You know what? Maybe I'm actually the wrong gender. And even if you or you know of somebody who actually has thought about that, this is not the fucking mass majority of people, okay? So one or two cases does not justify it, and they can still wait until they're old enough to get a tattoo to get their fucking sex change. Okay. Um, also, Cheeto Man would ban biological men, I don't care what they want to call themselves, from playing and quite literally beating the shit out of women in women's sports, and they would have to go back and suck in their own sport where they belong. And number three is the Constitution, protecting your constitutional rights. I can't go down this rabbit hole too far either. There are a lot more amendments that are being completely attacked than just these top two, but I'm just going to say these top two for right now. Right to free speech, your right to talk, your right to put your thoughts on the internet and not get banned and not go to jail, which is actually happening. People are going to jail for memes. Now, I'm not joking. Like, this is happening in other countries, and if blue wins, we got problems, okay? I'm just throwing it out there. We got real problems. This is not theory, I'm not making anything up. This is very, very, very fucking real, okay? Um, and, I mean, I can't believe my Facebook group is even still open, to be honest. I don't know how it's, it's made it this far, really. And you would know about that as an entertainer in any, any shape, that we can't talk about stuff like this on the internet without getting either pulled off the internet temporarily or completely. Which is insane, we're adults. This is like insanity. This is fucking insanity, okay? Um, and your right to protect yourself, your right to bear arms. I got a stalker. My sister and I both had a stalker when I was 19 and she was 17. I don't know. I don't know how to protect myself physically now, which is a huge problem. I really should learn how to fight. Um, but I don't like guns. I don't like guns at all. But if the government wants to come and take my gun so that I can't protect myself, okay, well, if the government takes away all guns, we'll just put a, a nationwide ban on guns. Who are going to be the only people left with weapons? The legit criminals. Like, I, the, the argument of, you know, well, I'm a mom. I can't have a gun. Well, bitch, what are you going to do if someone breaks into your house in the middle of the night? You're a single mom. What are you going to do, fight them off? Go to your kitchen and get a knife? Like, okay, good luck with that. I would rather have a gun. I would feel a whole lot safer. That's all I can say for right now. I love you. I genuinely really love you. And I really hope that you go out and vote for some sanity because we really, 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 really need it. There are so many other reasons why. I wanted to make this such an elaborate and big video but my chaotic mind, I was like, I have so much to put in here. I have clips from all over the internet that I want to put in. Like clips with context. Not clips of like, again, I, I can't, I'm not going to keep going down this rabbit hole. But I, I see tons of clips from the blue side. It's like, oh, look at what so-and-so said. They cut it off halfway through a sentence. They, you, like the amount of stuff that does not actually get shown, take any of these things, any of them, any single one of these negative things that they're saying about Cheeto Man, any of them, and go find the video or the clip or whatever where they said, he said this, and watch the whole thing. I don't care if it's about racism. I don't care if it's about women. I don't care if it's about illegal immigration. I don't care. It doesn't matter what it is. Go find any of them and watch the full context and then tell me what you think. If you have any reason whatsoever that's better than protecting children from being mutilated while they're kids, from protecting women in our industry from going to jail, or for protecting your own right to free speech and to protect yourself, if you have better reasons than those, go vote blue, okay? But if you don't, please, you know what to do. It's my first time ever voting. I've never done it before because I never believed, I still don't believe in the whole thing. But the only reason why I did it this time is because I think it has to be too big 
to you know what. I feel like that's even another trigger word right now that I can't actually use because of algorithms. So I'm not going to, and I'm just gonna upload this video. I love you, I love you, I love you very, very, very dearly. I love you very dearly and I want all of us, every single one of us to live a really good life. And I promise you the things that I'm saying right now, I promise you will lead to a better life for every one of us. Every single one of us. Go do your own research if you want to or just go vote. But I had to put this video out. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.